Solo is one of the iconic Australian soft drinks. Being released in 1973 by Cadbury's Feps, it was an instant success, with their catchy ads being cemented into the minds of the parents of today. squashes that pubs used to make. Extra lemon tang and not too many bubbles. Solo lemon, a man's drink. In this first ad from the 1970s, we can see a big muscular man kayaking through some rapids while country music is playing, a reference to pop culture as country music was popular at the time. Instantly, once seeing the start of the ad, you can see some of the key Aussie values Solo are targeting. Those being the great outdoors, and most importantly, the Australian man. Big muscles, a stache and long hair, and the quote. Solo lemon, a man's drink. And then at the climax of the ad, they say. You've never tasted a lemon drink like Solo before. Unless it was one of those great lemon squashes that pubs used to make. Here, they are associating Solo with something from the viewer's childhood, sparking good memories of spending time with family and drinking Pops Lemon Squash. This is a very early example of nostalgia, a very common feature in ads of today. And to add to this, they refer to Pops, an Australian slang term for Grandpa. Slang is one of the most important and defining values of an Australian. In the second ad from the late 70s, we can see a big muscular sweaty man driving a speedboat across the ocean while Jaws-like music is playing, another reference to pop culture. This ad is very similar to the previous ad as they target very similar values, those being the great outdoors and the Australian man, which once again is emphasised with the quote, Solo lemon, a man's drink. In the third ad from the 80s, we see a range of different muscular, sweaty men competing in a variety of different physical activities. Like the previous two ads, the great outdoors and the Australian man are key themes within the ad, with quotes like, You gotta work it hard to be a solo man. Keep in shape to be a solo man. being used to reinforce that Solo is a man's drink and that drinking Solo will make you more manly than you were before. There are also multiple new Aussie values that are used in this ad. The first being the common use of contractions and slang, things that Australians pride themselves on the use of. The second being leadership with the quote 
And with that 80s synth music in the background, this ad has cemented itself as one of the classic Australian ads of the 80s. Nice. Nice. In the fourth ad from the 1990s, you can see a clear evolution in how ads are made. In the 80s, it was common to use catchy songs and lots of talking in your ads, while in the 90s and further onwards, less words and more body language became more popular. In this ad, while Solo continues their association with the great outdoors, they have dropped their claim that Solo is a manly drink. Although, they still use the value of the Australian man, this time only visually, with a muscular man wrestling a crocodile. A clear pop culture reference to the Aussie icon himself. Steve Irwin, the Australian man. There is also a lot of green in this video, which makes our brains think of healthiness. In the fifth ad from the 2000s, again you can see another jump in pop culture compared to the 90s with the extreme sport wakeboarding and electronic music, which was popular at the time. Like the previous ad, there is not a vocal mentioning of how drinking solo makes you more of a man, instead featuring a big muscular working class man having a solo. The working class has always been a key value of Australian culture and Australians have always idolised the working class. And this is because almost all of us descend from working class people one way or another. And no, I didn't forget their use of the great outdoors. <laughs> No, she can't sleep inside. It's good, right? Is that our dryer? You've got to crack a solo! In the sixth ad, which was released earlier this year, the people at Solo have taken a much more modern approach towards their ad, using the nostalgia of the people who grew up with the ads from the 80s and their use of Aussie humour to make their ads memorable to their viewers. The Aussie values portrayed in this ad show yet another change in the values by the ex executives at Solo, with them finally abandoning the great outdoors. So in remembrance, we will have five seconds of silence. They have also introduced a new value into this ad, mateship, showed by the bloke whose mates let him in his dog crash at theirs. Mateship is one of the fundamental values of Australia, representing all the aspects of someone trustworthy, a true mate. They have further emphasised the working man in this ad, with our main hero proudly building a dog house out of a dryer, a true Aussie man who'd do anything for a family member, even if it's a dog. Which brings us to how Solo's portrayal of the Aussie man changed from a muscular, sweaty leader running through the desert to a working-class family man who'd make a doghouse from a dryer all for his dog. 
Solo has successfully evolved their company values to suit the values that society holds and to what best sells their products to customers in an evolving market, changing from heavy masculinity and outdoorsy-based campaign to a more rugged, working-class, caring man 